everyone. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in because this is an experiment and this is going to be my reaction to My Hero Academia Season 7, Episode 2. So uh, last we left off, last we left off Star and Stripe uh, and Tomura Shigaraki are uh, locked in an epic battle until Judgment Day and Trumpet Sound. Yeah, I have nothing to say. Let's just go. Let's just do this. Oh? Oh, this is backstory. Is she about to die? Is Shigaraki just gonna kill her? I mean, fair. Alright. Yeah, that, that is, that is twice as clown. These are nice dudes. That's actually really sweet. But that does not vote well. Yeah. Oh yeah, they just... Headshot. That might be all mine. Someone please tell me if this if these guys are the guys that did the opening from Tokyo Ghoul. Because they sound a lot like the guys who did Unravel. So we know that Shigaraki's not gonna die. The question is, is Star going to die? Because now there's a death flag. That's correct. So what does a watershed moment mean? Whoa! Okay, so it's effect- so her quirk affects her then, too. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and Endeavor, head over there. Right now. That's terrifying. It's not- but it's not gonna work. This is the second episode. Shigaraki is- there's no- yep. He's alive. Is he going to figure out that he can decay the air around him? Because if he does that, then he'd be able to just incinerate anybody in front of him. Oh, so it missed him by- by like- Okay. Wow. And yet it still did that much damage. This is not good. So that Nomu had the same quirk that Alpha One implanted in Lady Nagant, huh? Oh, come on. Come on, Shigaraki. Fight. He will. What are you about to do? Wait, she let him? So, so this is a skit. He's taking it. Someone had better shoot him now. Someone had to sh somebody. Nope, that's it. That's it. She's done. Wait, sorry? That's not good. Okay. Okay, so that theory is gone, I think. Or maybe not. Uh-uh. There's the... Wait, what? What? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what? Wait, is this the whole theory about like quirks exist as like a, a person's soul? And, and the rule has been imposed forever because she's dead now. Oh my gosh. But you prepared for that. She's taking him out from the inside. Oh my gosh. As in, okay. New order will oppose other quirks. Oh my, yes, exactly. That's the best move she could have landed on him. Yeah, they're all, they're all like, nope, this ain't gonna happen. 
Okay, so this confirms the quirk theory. <laughs> this is the best. This is like the best. I love this woman. You, you, you weakened All For One in a way that no one has ever weakened him before. Guys. My gosh. Respect. Wait, does he end up giving it to All Might? Pursue. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, we're talking about this. We are talking about this later. That's why she was barely in the opening. Oh! Run, 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 run. Oh, so no matter who he gives it to, that person's gonna die. She called him a nobody, oh my gosh. Here's the thing though, that's a wound. Yeah, Tenko. So America is in trouble. So Star and Stripe carved a path straight to Shigaraki's heart. So now we got three people fighting. And now Tenko is going to be going after Midoriya, being like, save me, help me. This is good. This is nice, yeah. Oh, I see. They've all been sleeping in their uniforms. They've all been ready at a moment's notice. Yeah, honestly. But now he's got, yeah, like, not that many. Shigaraki and All for One will kill us. But, いたでおった I cannot wait to see all of these guys on the field with Shigaraki. Oh, don't hide it. Punch me! <laughs> yeah, look at how far he's come. Ooh. Oh gosh. We've got a we've got a League of Villains episode up next, okay. Wait, did Hagakure find the cave? Okay, so Star and Stripe dead. That's sad. Honestly, I feel like with her with her quirk, her working alongside Midoriya would have definitely evened the playing field for the villains. The thing is, is that we need to keep on with that with that everything is grim and, and the world's going to end sort of stuff. We did get a first name for the first one for all user, Yoichi, which I am very glad they gave that to me. If anybody saw my previous video, that's the one where I talked about all for one possibly making Shigaraki with the, um, more or less with the thought of basically recreating his younger brother in, but, but like a younger brother that went along with what he did. I don't know, is like a, a sick form of, of grief. I don't know, something like that. I almost wonder, so I mean, I don't think what we got from the episode puts a hole in that theory per se, because we just got his name, Yoichi. What does Yoichi mean? Let's actually look this up. It can mean a lot of different things. Okay, so I guess it depends on what kind of kanji you use. It can mean anything from ocean to lotus. But if there is one thing in common, Yoichi means one means first. 
That's probably how that is. The thing is, is if there is going to be like a, uh, maybe, maybe All For One disliked the, the name One because he was the firstborn, if we are to believe the visions that we've seen, Yoichi seems like his little brother, not to mention Shigaraki has called him little brother. I don't know, it doesn't really put a hold, up, hold in my theory. I've been sort of trying to think of something to say, but nothing will come. I feel like the big thing that this episode basically confirms for us is the fact that somebody's quirk is a part of themselves. And not like, and, and everybody's like, yeah, of course your genes are a part of you. But like to the point where it's a tangible physical thing. There is a quirk of course that makes it so, which is, uh, which is the all for one quirk or the one for all quirk. With, with one for all, the vestiges willingly give their quirks to the stockpiling of the quirk. And, and for all for one, the quirks are taken. So they both have these, they both have quirks inside them and a lot of them. And it's not just, in one for all, we always, th I mean, we all thought that that quirk was relatively unique because they, because it's like all of the subconscious vestiges have just kind of been like subconsciously imprinted into this quirk <clears throat> so that Midoriya can talk to all of them and such. But all for one is different. All for one specifically, I just thought that like he takes the quirks and they become part of him. And the only, the only thing, the only times that we've seen other people inside of all for one is when Shigaraki's fighting with him. But now it's basically being confirmed that one for all really isn't all that special when it comes to storing quirks. It turns out that a quirk is an extension of one's will and it can have psychological effects on the person wielding it if it doesn't belong to them. That was so incredibly amazing. They have a week-long extension. Shigaraki is absolutely falling apart, but I think probably the, the biggest strike that Star and Stripe delivered against Shigaraki is that she carved a path to Tenko, who had been buried, held in place for a very long time, but now is awake wants to be saved and will seek out Midoriya. So I think that Shigaraki is gonna go off on his own. I think that All For One's probably still gonna be present there trying to take control of him, but Shigaraki will seek out specifically Midoriya and it won't just be for one for all. It will be because he's a scared little kid who needs help and he knows that Midoriya can help him because Tenko, knowing or not, has met Midoriya. One for all and All For One have collided and Tenko wants out and I can't fault the kid for that. But I think that's all we got. So uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Ding the bell for notifications. Tell me your theories. Tell me your analyses. Uh, just subscribe. I am trying to make this a source of income for me. So it would be super, super cool if you didn't. Comment below. All of that. So uh, thank you so much for staying and have a nice day.